Hello viewers. Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'll teach you a very easy way to create a notebook using Canva. This method is perfect for Amazon KDP and Etsy. Making this notebook isn't difficult at all, even if you're a beginner, you'll be able to design your own notebook by following a few simple steps. If you're new here, make sure to subscribe so you don't miss out on more helpful tutorials like this one. Alright, let's get started. First, open Canva. In front of you, a dashboard will open. Now go to the templates section. Here you will see a search bar. Now type A4 in it. After that, many options will appear below. You have to select this one. As soon as you click on it, many templates will open in front of you. Now you have to click on create blank. As soon as you click, a blank canvas will open in front of you. Now go to the Elements tab, then type Butterfly Background in the search bar. Then, select the Graphics section. You'll see a variety of butterfly background images, pick any one that you like. I'm selecting this one, but you can choose whichever you prefer. Next, select the color option and change its color. I've chosen this one because it gives a more attractive and elegant look. Now, select the color option again and change its color. Next, drag the image and place it in the corner of the canvas. Duplicate the image and adjust it next to the first one. Then, duplicate it again and adjust that copy as well. After that, select all four images together, duplicate them, and drag the new set right below the first row of images. Repeat this process again, and you'll create a beautiful, seamless background design like this. Now, go to the Elements tab again, and type square in the search bar. Then, go to the Shapes section and select the square shape. It will appear on your canvas. Drag the shape and place it at the top center of the canvas. Next, select the shape and go to the color option. Then choose the white color. After that, go to the Stroke Style section and select the Line Border option. You'll now see a border appear around the shape, it's black by default. Let's change its color. Select the Border Color option, then choose a new color from the color palette and make it slightly darker for a better look. Now, go to the Text tab and click on Add a Heading. Type your text, for example, Notebook. Then, drag the text and place it inside the shape, adjusting it neatly in the center. Now go to Elements. And from Shapes section select this image, drag it to the bottom center of the canvas and adjust its position there. Next, go to the color option and change its color to white. After that, open the Stroke Style menu and choose a line border. Change the border color as desired. Now go to Elements and type Line in the search bar. From the Shapes section, select the Line Shape. Drag the line inside the shape and adjust its position properly.
Then, duplicate the line and place it just below the first one. Repeat the same process to add the remaining lines in the same way. Now go to stroke style and change the color of these lines. Now go to the elements tab, then type girl cartoon notebook in the search bar. After that, go to the graphics section and choose any image you like. I'm selecting this one. Now, adjust the image as needed. Now click on Add Page to insert a new page. After that, go to the File menu and click on Settings. Then, turn on Show Margins. Next, press the L key on your keyboard. This will create a line on the canvas. Adjust this line on the page as needed. Now, duplicate the line and place it right below the first one. Repeat the same process to add the remaining lines on the page. Now click on one of the lines and go to the Stroke Style option to change its color. After that, click on Copy Style to copy the style. Then, move your cursor to the next line and click on it. The first line style will be applied to the second line. In the same way, change the color of all the remaining lines. Now go back to the Elements tab and type Butterfly in the search bar. Then go to the Graphics section and choose any image you like. I'm selecting this one. Next, go to the Color option and change the color of the image. After that, resize the image to make it smaller. Then drag it to the top of the page and adjust it next to the first line. Now select this butterfly image again from the same graphics section. Then resize the image to make it smaller and place it in the bottom corner of the page. Next, slightly rotate the image. After that, go to the Transparency option and adjust its transparency as desired. Now duplicate this page, and you can add as many new pages as you want. After that, go to the File menu again, open Settings, and turn off Show Margins. And here's the final look of the notebook. If you like it, don't forget to like, share, and comment on the video, and subscribe to my channel for more amazing Canva tutorial like this.